What's up guys, Mystic Fire here to bring you Black Clover chapter 189 and 190 review. Chapter 189 is titled Humans Who Can Be Trusted and chapter 190 is titled Go. So we're only 10 chapters away from 200 chapters. That's a big milestone. Now I want, I know that this, I think this arc is going to end in 200 chapters, but hey, let's just see what Tawata does. Meanwhile, but let's start with a review. I don't want to waste you guys' this time. I don't want to waste my time either. Anyways, um... Chapter 189, uh, there's a lot that we learned regarding the attack on the elves, or basically the massacre of the elves, and it was all thanks to uh, um, Roa, or no, it was all thanks to Ndroa, uh, which is uh, the elf that is, that is in Gotch. We also, we also learned a, bit, a little bit more about Gotch himself in the beginning of the chapter, uh, you know, we learned that all he cares about is his sister and himself because there's no human that can be trusted, that they will always be, that they will always sell you to the highest, uh, to the highest, um, to the highest, what, 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 what is that thing called? To the highest bidder? Yeah, to the highest bidder uh, when it comes to them surviving. So, and that's why he did. We also learned that he joined the Black Bulls you know, for the, for the better of him and his sister. Um, now, once um, once Drawa was defeated, or basically when Asta did the sword on him, you know, did the Demon Destroyer sword to remove the spell on him, he told Asta that such a power like him has consequences, that his actions have consequences, and that if you forget everything else, don't forget that. He said, I know, I won't forget any of you. Um, so it, it's you know it's one of those things where we learn regarding the attack like i mentioned earlier uh that it was the royals of the clover kingdom that did so and there were about four or five of them and and they're gonna be like the main villain of the they're gonna be like the main villain you know the final bosses when it comes to the story they are the one that asked that we have to defeat in order to change how the structure of black clover is of the of the clover kingdom is at all um we learned that their power was actually siphon you know like it wasn't sealed it was more so siphon and that's that's the reason why the royals have so much magic power to begin with in the first place um uh Drawa also noticed that li the lick you know the real lick gave us the sword that could undo the spells like it makes it so that make it so like if nothing happened so so there's something that Lick is planning. Lick is planning something. Uh, and Drawa thought about it, but he doesn't know what it is just yet. Uh, the chapter ended really, you know, with the big family reunion between uh, the Black Bulls. Uh, Sora and Noel fell down from the top. We, we saw the we saw the final... Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? We saw the conclusion of the fight, you know, both fights, uh, and that's when the Vanessa's group fell down on them as well. Now we don't know what happened to Dorothy after she was defeated. Maybe she went into the into the Shadow Palace as soon as she was defeated because you know we didn't saw her, like I said. Maybe she flew there directly. Um and yeah, so we saw the we know the Jami and um and Jack are there as well. Now that's literally all that happened in chapter 189. Um, nothing, nothing else really happened. Like I said, all that happened was that we, we got another point, another point of view when it comes to the massacre of the elves, uh, which is go always good because we're learning the story. Now we know that the rose are as, as uh, responsible for that, for that. So in that sense, is you know, is basically what we've been saying. And now we don't know if the wizard king or the first wizard king was involved in that. And we also learned that they killed their own, the crown prince of the Clover Kingdom, which was the sister of the Wizard King, which was Tetia. Um, they said themselves that she's not human anymore because she was scaring the child of elves and that, they, and that they're now the gods of the Clover Kingdom or this lands. So, you know, their own greed, basically, they killed they kill the, the elves or they, they killed the elf and siphoned their power because of greed. Now... If I forgot anything, let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys. Let's talk about it now. In chapter one ninety, called titled "Go," um, it was more of a shield character. It was more. Of, it was more of a shield down um, chapter. We got we got to see Fuego Leon and Leona all both back up, and they're both going into the Shadow Palace, which basically means now that 
that the Vermilions and the Silvers are in the Shadow Palace. The only one that we haven't seen that, that haven't gone to the Shadow Palace has been the Kira family or the Clover family. And if you think about it, though, uh, most of the royal knights are basically in the Shadow Palace right now when it comes to Mother Leona, Fuego Leon, uh, Mimosa, uh, Noel, you know, and Asta. Like they're all going in there. So I feel like something's going to happen to them in that sense. We have Yami there, which Yami's a foreigner. He's not even a noble. Uh, and we have Jack. Jack is a noble there, but, you know, he's not royal. So I feel like something's going to happen to the royals in this time. Um, let me see what else is there. Uh, nothing else is really there aside from all of that. We, we saw the, the last panel that we saw was Nero looking up at the Shadow Palace when they, when they all went. Uh, we saw that the Black Bulls got their, got faced um, the elf that's in the Alexander, you know, five senior, five senior uh, mages from the Golden Dawn that came to attack them, and the Black Bulls faced them down along with Kirsch Vermilion. Uh, Kirsch Vermilion stay behind, you know, to give them support. Uh, let me see one th another thing that we got a we got a small uh, jealousy thing, you know, like a love triangle with Asta, Sally, um, Noel, and. Um, Mimosa, that was funny. You know, I like it. it was fun. It was it was a, you know, I don't um, what it was? What was it? It was a comedy. It was a comedy relief moment. We also get to see uh, well, uh, Welger Poisa finally and Repchi uh, make their moves as well. We we saw them. We saw them seeing through the Shadow Palace. You know, Repchi seems to, uh, not Repchi. Welger seems to know a bit about it. Uh, he says that there's uh ancient artifacts in there so he seems to know quite a bit about it so i don't know if they went in there sally i don't know where sally is at the moment because we didn't see her when when the black would stay behind to fight um and that's literally it nothing nothing else really happened aside from all those things like he was like i said it was a chill chapter uh you know it was like a setup chapter seeing to let us know that, that, uh, that the millions and the silvers are going in. We also see, oh, yes. We also see the Solid acknowledges Noel as one of the royal family, uh, one of their own. So that's some character development for them, for him as well. Um, we seen, we see that Fogodon has the Salamander. Yes, because we saw that when he woke up. Uh, nothing new there. And let me see what else is there that I might be missing. What else is I might be missing? There's nothing else really that I'm that I'm missing when it comes to that chapter per se. Uh, so that's really it. Now, if I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, let's talk about it. Um, I, I would be really appreciated if you guys could, you know, tell me, hey, you missed this. Hey, what do you think about this? You know, like let's talk about it down in the comments down below. Also, follow me on Twitter. That's the best way you guys communicate with me. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below for you guys. Um, and yeah, that's really it. If I missed, like, again, like I said, if I missed anything, let me know in the description down below. Yeah, because that's the best way for us. Uh, Nero was looking up, like I said, Nero was looking up. So it seems like we're going to know everything. It seems like we're going to we're gonna go into, like, the best thing that Tabata could do after this arc is going to, a, like, a flashback arc. You know, where we, like, we, where we get to learn the whole story of how the elf got massacred and everything. But anyways, that's all I have to say. That's all my thoughts in these two weeks, uh, in these two chapters. Again, let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you guys and gals next week. Um, I'm, I'm catching up to Word Trigger. And so that may also be around next week. See you guys next time. Peace.